This is not a normal S-Class vehicle, but a special armored protection vehicle. Due to the extra weight of the side windows, there is no electrical but hydraulic window lifter blocks. With this S-Guard, a problem in the power window is present. When the vehicle is parked, the side window lowers after a period of several hours. In the workshop, we examine the problem. Close all windows and leave the vehicle with the engine switched off for about four to five hours. Subsequently, check the position of the windows. A clear gap can be seen with one of the windows. The cause is most likely a leak in the emergency valve block of the hydraulic window in this dorm. Before you go on an error search, however, take out the mechanical key and keep it outside the vehicle. With guard vehicles, always make sure not to lock yourselves out inadvertently. Now close the window. Then switch the ignition off. Then at the rear door, check whether the two levers of the emergency operation are correctly closed. These here. No faulty operation is found. Before you continue to work, for safety reasons, make the system free of pressure. Use the emergency opening and closing for this until no more pressure is present and the window stops. To continue with the fault tracing, now do a basic adjustment of the emergency levers of the valve shaft. To do this, remove the door lining as described in this VIS document. Remove now this retaining ring. Then you notice the spring. With an open wrench, hold the valve shaft and loosen the lock nut. Subsequently, remove the nut, washer and lever. Now examine whether the locking valve is correctly closed. Note, this has a right-hand thread. The valve shaft emergency opening can be turned. Therefore, the system was leaking. Now close the valve completely with 7.5 Newton meters. And continue with the basic adjustment. Apply Loctite 270 to the thread. Subsequently install the lever and screw and the lock nut on the valve shaft. Tighten the nut until the lever sits firmly. Afterwards, fix the position of the valve shaft and the lever with an open end wrench. Now with a 1.6 mm feeler gauge, set the gap between lever and stop plate. When the correct measure is set, tighten the lock nut with 11 Newton meters. Check the adjusted measure once again just to be sure. Once everything is correct, also do a basic adjustment of the upper lever. Note that the upper valve shaft has a left-hand thread. Now we also have a tip for the passenger side because the rotation direction of the valve shafts are the other way around, i.e. the upper lever is a right-hand thread and the lower lever a left-hand thread. With the exception of the rotation direction, the basic adjustment of the emergency valves functions in the same way. When all these steps are done, attach the spring and the retaining ring. Check now whether the power windows work properly. Here, always make sure to close the levers again properly after use. The spring only serves as a support and does not take over the lever resetting function completely. Switch on the engine and do a functions check of the rear window with the electrical switch at the driver's door. The window opens and closes perfectly. Therefore, you can reinstall the door lining. Subsequently, fill the reservoir of the hydraulic pump. 
Hold the switch for 10 seconds. Now do an exit short routine in the star diagnosis. Next, put the mechanical key back in the main key once again. And leave the vehicle now again for four to five hours and afterwards check whether the window has opened. This is not the case, the problem is solved.